how can you live in New York and not love Central Park? Central Park is the most remarkable gift that we all have here in the city. I had come home from work one day and I was really exhausted. So I sort of took my shoes off and got comfortable. And I happened to look out the window and I looked up at the sky and there were incredible clouds. The light was just beautiful. It was about five o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, I think people call it the golden hour when the light is very warm. I didn't want to take my camera and go out photographing in the worst way. I was tired. I wanted to rest. A voice in me said, pick up the camera and go. I grabbed my camera, ran out the door, actually got in a cab and told him to drop me off at Central Park West and 72nd Street. I always loved Bethesda Fountain and that area of the park. So I decided to walk as quickly as I could to that area. I kept looking up and seeing these gorgeous clouds gathering and the light becoming more beautiful. And I felt this rush. I wanted to run there. And in about 15 minutes, I got to Bethesda Fountain, turned my camera on and started looking around. The environment was spectacular. I photographed clouds over trees. I photographed the lake at Central Park. Then I turned to Bethesda Fountain, this angel blessing the city. And above the angel was the most remarkable cloud formation. And behind the clouds was this perfect blue, absolutely crystalline. It would poke out now and then and then be obscured by the clouds. It occurred to me that I wanted Bethesda at the lower corner of the photograph and I wanted to feature the clouds springing from this angel. They were so dramatic and they were changing very quickly. So I began to photograph. I moved back, I moved forward. I think I had a 16 millimeter lens on the camera at the time so I could photograph Bethesda as a tiny figure in the lower left corner and the clouds reaching up. And I moved around and moved around. Finally, I saw the image I loved and I photographed the Bethesda with the blue sky and this remarkable exploding cloud formation. This turned out to be one of the best pictures I think I've ever taken. The moral of this story is when you see the light, when you feel the moment is right, don't just sit there, pick up your camera and run, run if not walk, to where you would like to photograph.